Hello friends, just this morning Nikon released a firmware update for the Z series cameras, the Z6 and the Z7, which I have right here. And this firmware update is actually pretty exciting. It includes eye detect autofocus, which these cameras have had face detect autofocus since they came out, but not, not eyeball detection. So. I'm interested to get this installed on these cameras and I figured I'd share the process with you. I do have a video where I share how to find and uh, install firmware updates to Nikon cameras. I have one for Canon too. I'll put a link uh, down below to kind of the intro video to that little mini series of videos. Uh, so if you want more detail, you can see that one because it's the same process, even though before I was using DSLRs and now I'm using mirrorless, same process. So I've got my screen recording. I've got a camera filming the back of this camera. This is the Z7, this is the Z6. And yeah, let's, let's get started with getting it updated. We'll find the software or the firmware. We will update and then I'm going to test it out a little bit. Okay. Let's do it. So when I pull up Nikon's website, for me, it's NikonUSA.com. For you, it might be something different wherever you're, um, wherever you're located. But I see at the very top, it actually has an alert that says firmware 2.0. I detect autofocus and now, and more now available for Z cameras. So let's just use that. And beautiful, um, I detect and more how to upgrade let's just get to the actual firmware okay so we have two links here one for the z6 and one for the z7 i am going to open them in different tabs because i am going to update both of them although i will only actually go through one of them for you it's going to be the same process for both of them so it doesn't matter if you have a z6 or a z7 it's the same or any other nikon camera it's going to be the same okay reference manual for firmware version. Wow, that's something I don't think I've seen before. Oh, just kidding. That's an actual like full manual for the camera. Uh, what did I say was up there? The Z? No, wait, it's the Z7 up there. So I better go to the Z7 page. Go to the firmware tab and version 2.0. That's what I'm looking for. View page. So I'm on a Mac, but if you're on a Windows, that will pop up appropriately. And the changes, we will talk through these changes a little bit more as we're waiting for the camera to update, but I want to just get the update going right now. So I will accept the terms and I will download. And then I'm going to open up that file. It's a DMG file. And then I've got the folder with the update. So what I'm looking for is this bin file. What I wanna do first actually, now that I'm thinking about it, is I wanna go ahead and format this memory card that's in here, just because. And then I need to turn off the camera, take the memory card out, my little XQD card. This is an awkward angle. Okay. Plug it into my card reader on my computer. And <laughs> let's see, we don't need that anymore. Here we go. So when I open up the card, the memory card, all I want to do is move the entire bin uh, file over to the top level of the card. I don't want to put it inside any of the folders. I don't want to put the Z7 update folder on my memory card. I only want the bin file. Okay. That was easy, right? Because XQD cards are so darn fast. <laughs> so I ejected the card and now I can put it back in the camera. So squeezing that back in there, turning it back on, and then we need to go into the menus and we're in the setup menu and it's the last 
item on the menu. It's firmware version. Surprise. So what I have right now is the 1.01. That's my current firmware version. But you can see, since I put the bin file in the right place, I have an update button. So yes, I want to go from 1.01 to 2.00. Okay, so now it's just going to sit there and update for a while. So let's quickly discuss some of these uh, changes. The firmware, just in case you aren't aware, I probably should have mentioned this in the beginning, firmware is the software that runs your camera. So there are certain firmware updates that can be done to improve camera's performance, to fix bugs. So often it's just little bug fixes here and there, but this is actually a big firmware update and I, I approve. I approve of camera companies starting to do more uh, significant firmware updates for us rather than introducing a Z7S or a Z7R or whatever. Um, I like that they've done this. And this was something that they said from the beginning when they, when they introduced these cameras, they said, we will have eye autofocus, we just don't have it yet. So I'm glad that it's here now. All right, so added eye detection autofocus for use when taking photographs. Photographs, I didn't read this whole thing before. I'm hoping that it will also be around for video. Hmm. All right, well, we'll see. AFS or AFC for focus mode in the photo. So it's telling us exactly how to get it uh, set up in the camera, which is really nice that it just says it right here on the screen for us. It will also, of course, be in that updated manual that I saw earlier. And let's see, improved autofocus performance for photos and movies shot under low light negative 2 to 19 EV, low light autofocus, negative 4 to 19 EV, measured in photo mode with single servo autofocus at ISO 120 degrees Celsius with an F2 lens. It's funny how specific they have to get to tell us like exactly how, because all of your conditions are going to change how your camera really performs. It's interesting. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? Improvements made to continuous high extended option for release mode. That's for when you're going super duper fast. Uh, not only focus, but now exposure will respond to changes in the subject during shooting. That's nice. So now it's going to, you know, if my subject moves when I'm in a continuous high extended release mode uh, and maybe exposure changes a little bit if they move in and out of a shadow or something, um, it will account for that. That's cool. Oh, I think we've updated. Hold on, I'm not done here. And then reduce the length of time the display turns off blackout period when pictures are taken with on or on monitor only selected. It's, oh my gosh, there's so many specific things. And then there's some other stuff which is good. Change the color, the focus point turns when AF on button is pressed or the shutter release button is pressed halfway with auto area autofocus selected and face detection or target tracking active. And then some other stuff here. Um, okay, <laughs> here's a bug fix. Sometimes the items in my menu would sometimes not display correctly. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Uh, I never had that issue, thank goodness. Okay, so let's check in on this. Um, we're gonna hit menu again and go back to the firmware version. And look, my firmware version is now 2.0. The one with the C is for the camera. The LF is lens firmware. And so now I can actually delete the firmware update files in the camera, which is nice. I like that option. I don't have to worry about it. All right. So really quickly, let's just check real quick on the Z6, what I'm assuming we've, we've got all the same changes, but yeah, it looks like we've got the same stuff. So what I am going to do real quick is update the firmware on the Z6, and then we're going to do a little quick side-by-side -side comparison to see 
what I detect looks like and what, you know, if it, if it's any good, cause I have no idea. I haven't used it yet. I've used I detect on other systems, but I've not used it on Nikon. So fingers crossed it's going to work, but first I need to update the Z6. And you know what, while this is updating, I just remembered that I didn't make sure that the uh, eye autofocus is set up. So let's follow the instructions that I've got on the screen here. So AFS or AFC for focus mode in photo shooting menu. And I'm assuming that's what I have right now. Let's just look at this. Oh, I'm not actually on manual focus, that's funny. We'll go to AFS. Oh, it's on manual focus because I've got the, <laughs> I've got the, uh, the lens locked. Like, I don't understand what's going on here. Okay, now I'm in AFS. Back to the photo shooting menu. And then um, auto area, auto focus for auto area mode. Again, I just find this easier to do on the eye. We're gonna go to auto area, auto focus, and then back to our menu. In the custom settings menu, oops, that one. Auto focus, I'm assuming, custom setting A4. Oh, that's nice that they told us the number. Oh, look at that, there's an eyeball there. Auto area, auto focus, face slash eye detection is on. So you can do just face detect or face and eye detect now. That's good. And then that's good. If the camera detects more than one eye or face, triangles will appear to either side of the focus point to position the focus point over a different face or eye. Press the multi or sub selector left or right. That's really nice. So if you wanna, if say I'm like this and I wanna focus on this eye, but the camera's picking up on this eye, presumably there's gonna be a little triangle like we saw on this page. I noticed here, this is moving really fast, but there's a little triangle that pops up so you can just hit the, um, you know, hit your, your multi-selector or I'm assuming your, I think, I think they said sub-selector, huh? Um, anyway, you can change eyeballs. All right, so we are updated here. I'm going to delete my firmware file from the memory card because I don't need that on there. Okay, now let's get started. Let's get set up. <laughs> let's meaning me, I will get set up and I'll be back. Okay, it's me in stereo. <laughs> visual stereo. Anyway, get it? So I've got the Z7 and the Z6 set up next to each other. I have to see which is which. That's the Z6. That is the Z7. And I think it's working. So is it picking up my eyeballs? Let's just try moving my head and seeing which ones it picks up, which, which eyeball it picks up, and see if it's consistent between the two cameras. And then I'm curious what happens if I like turn around and come back, am I, did it pick me up? Did it take, did it go away from me? Did it come back? How much or little did it go away from me or come back? Um, also, I should mention that I have both of my 24 to 70 lenses on these two cameras. The Z6 has the 24 to 70 millimeter F 2.8 camera. Uh oh, I think that my live view just shut off on these cameras, hold on. Hold on, I think I just heard them turn off. <laughs> That's what happens. I should have set the uh, I should have set the the time different, but I didn't. So let's be quick. So I have the 24 to 70 f 2.8 s lens on the Z6 and the 24 to 70 f 4 s lens on the Z7. Um, but I have them both set at 50 millimeters, and they're both at f 4. So just just to let you know what's the same and what's different. So what happens if I go out of the frame and then come back? Did it catch me? How quick did it take to catch me? And did it follow me the whole time? I'm so curious. Okay, now I have to review this stuff and I'll get back to you. All right, now here we are at 
the computer um, and I pulled everything in, aside from exposure being different between the two. Let's see. Okay, so I walk in and I can see that I think it's following my eye. And it did have the triangle next to it so that I could go to the other eyeball if I wanted to. Oh, it actually kept up pretty well when I was going back and forth there. Oh, now see, this is what I am excited about. This is something that the Sony cameras do with their, um, what they called real time tracking, I think is what they called it, so that it would switch between eye, face, and object tracking uh, all in the same go, you know, all in the same uh, time that you're following someone. So if, see, I was to go, I went further away, and this is obviously when I was setting up. So I went further away and it went onto my face. I turned around and it went onto my face. I come back closer. Where am I? There I am talking to Raymond and it's on my eyeball. Oh my goodness. Okay. What happened when I got closer? Yeah, both of them. Now see, that's interesting. So depending on where I was in the frame, since the cameras are, you know, next to each other, um, it would do my face, focus on my face instead of the eyeball. And that was interesting right there. And if you, here, wait, hold on, let me get back there. So my hand was in front of my face here, but it still looks like it's focused on my face. Does it go to my hand at all? No, it doesn't. But it's on my eyeball on this camera. What was this one, the Z7, and this one was the Z6, I think? Hmm, all right. Well, good, well, yep, see when I turned around there? Yeah, I'm impressed. Um, <laughs> I am really glad that this came out. I'm glad that it appears to be working. I'm excited to just have that much more uh, confidence when I want to track a subject. Um, yeah, we'll see what I can do about doing some actual more, you know, formal work where I can get behind the camera and actually take some photos and we'll see how it goes. But that's it, everybody. I would call it a success so far. Um, if you have any questions about how to apply a firmware update, uh, let me know. Um, like I said, I'll put that link down below to the video where I actually kind of go into more detail uh, explaining how to, what a firmware update is and, and how to get it. Uh, also, just before I go real quick, I did also see that there was a service advisory for um, both the Z6 and the Z7. It looks like there, some cameras are having some issues with um, something. I don't know. There, something, there's an issue. So I'll put a link to this technical service advisory down below as well, just in case you want to check. It's by serial number. Neither of my cameras were affected. I went and checked my serial number on here. So good news. I hope yours isn't either, but if it is, this will tell you how to take care of it. Anyway, a little bit of good and a little bit of not so good <laughs> this morning, but that's okay. I will, uh, I'll be back later this week with more stuff later this week. It's already the end of the week practically, but I do have some more uh, some more stuff coming at you this week and I'll be testing this stuff out in the coming days and I will definitely keep you all updated on what I think. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.